Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. You guys have been asking me, what is my favorite welding rod? Well, probably not what you think. I like all of them actually. 70, 18, 60, 10, 80 plus. That is the three amigos right there. But when it comes to 80, 10, five millimeter, 8P plus. Guys, no, I'm sorry, these are arc 80s. P1 Pipeliner Arc 80. These have been in my box on my wel welding truck for a year, and, I don't know, a year and a half maybe, and they still run awesome. And a lot of you that are familiar with big rods, they're usually, uh, they're a little bit harder to weld underneath stuff, on the bottom, that kind of stuff. We've been welding on a cattle gap, and I had these rods left over that had been in my box. I hadn't been welding pipe in a long time. I thought, you know, I need to use them. And as I was using them, I thought, I've got to make a video. Because if you haven't, if you got a big enough welding machine where you can actually run these bigger rods, you're going to really enjoy it. And if you don't have that big of a welding machine, you probably don't even need a big welding machine because you don't, these five millimeters run just a little bit hotter than a 532. I mean, it, it's, it's wild. It doesn't take that much more heat to run them. But I'm gonna weld the bottom of this I-beam or this one and show you about how to do it. And I'm gonna tell you up front, what it is, is when you start with these big rods, you're gonna wanna scratch off and let it long arc just for a minute. Just kinda let it do its thing and then start going in if you go straight in there to it, start trying to weld, you're going to get stuck. And then when you get stuck, it gets the tip of the rod hot. You've all experienced it. And the flux gets funky and brittle and falls off. So remember, scratch it off, long arc it, let it get going, get a puddle started. And then you want to weld small with a big rod. That's how you can go fast. I mean, we've put down some, some work today in a minute because I was using big welding rods. You know, so it, it, I think you'll really like it. But that is probably my most favorite welding rod. Now check this out. The first thing you're gonna wanna do, a lot of people wanna just get right up under there and start welding like this. That ain't what we're gonna do. You wanna bend this welding rod right out of the gate. And when you bend it, you'll be able to hold it like this. It's not hard to hold it like that. That's exactly the angle of that I need. And I'm going to go down on one knee and I'm going to put my arm where I can steady my holder and go like that. So check it out. Get the slack out of your lead where you got, you got plenty to work with. You don't, want, you don't want it tied out here where it's swinging around. Stick it up there. I'm going to go down here and I'm, I usually grab my rod with my hand first just to make sure you don't put any arc burns on everything. And we're gonna scratch off. There it goes. It's just like using a boat up six to 10. And they're fast. Just kind of step it. We're not whipping. No whipping here. We're just stepping. Step, step back. Pause a little bit. Not too long. It's just a big rod. That's it, my friends. Kind of scratch that slag off there so you can look at it. And that's it. Now, we were using a squirt gun, flux core. I've got a suitcase 
that my hooks onto my weld machine, and I've got a Millermatic 252. And we hadn't had anything but problems. Little pinholes, little, it's just not the same quality as a stick weld. It's not as reliable. We were messing with the tip and, you know, and we're welding this old pipe. It's got rust on it, doesn't like that. When I switched over to what I knew, what I was good at, it's just so much more fun, you know? I've already welded it, but I want to walk you through one more time how to set up for welding the bottom. That's pipe, anything. You want to, you want to be away from it. I, see, I've already bent my rod. <laughs> I was supposed to show you that. The first thing I would do, knowing I'm about to weld the bottom, is bend the rod. That simple. And then you can turn this around and you're not in a bind. Now, when you, you're still not gonna wanna get up there and weld straight in front of you, because it's low to the ground. You wanna be a, away from it, the fire's falling down. Can I come down here and I'll show you. See, I'm back here. I'm back here hanging out, having a good time without getting burned up, and my neck doesn't hurt. What I'm gonna do is probably get about like this. And that's it. I'll be looking at it from this way. I'm not trying to get under here and look at it this way. I'm just trying to look at it this way. So you got to watch where you're going, but you got to remember where you've been. And, you know, that's it. Just like that. Taking steps, come back, step, come back, step, come back. And you wind up with a good weld, and it's fast. And I didn't have to do a whole bunch of neck-breaking it's not fun when you have to do that, you know? All day long, your neck hurts, you're new at welding, and you're holding the stinger so tight your knuckles are white. Try to relax. Have a good time. Go somewhere else, if you know what I mean. Just kind of drift off and think about the business you're going to build or, and just enjoy it. Have an awesome, awesome day. Later.